Hello, welcome to Cataclysm Quick Tip number 34, where we will be discussing how to use jumper cables. So in Cataclysm, if you'd like to charge a battery in a vehicle via a jumper cable, here's the process. There are a couple of important things to know about how it works and what you need to know about each vehicle. So I've got a demonstration set up here. The Northern vehicle's brand new. Take a look at it here. Perfect condition. Plenty of gas, and the battery currently is at 74%. Vehicle to the south, if we take a look, actually has some charge to the battery. That's not important for this demonstration. We're going to charge this up, uh, but let's pretend it was at 0%. So we weren't able to start this vehicle, and we really wanted to get this started up and move to our base. This is how it's going to work. So there are two different items in Cataclysm you can use for jumper cables. The actual jumper cable, which has a number 3 at the end, and then a heavy duty cable that has a number 20. The numbers represent the distance between the vehicles that it is allowed in order to string the cable. So you can use a heavy duty cable if the vehicles are farther apart, or you can use a jumper cable, uh, and if that's all you have, you have to get your vehicles pretty close together. Now I have to say, I've had some inconsistent results when I try to do three spaces between the vehicles. It seems to be 50-50. About half the time it'll let me connect, the other half it'll detach the cable on me, and I can't explain why. So I would recommend you get one space closer, use 19 and 2 as the actual numbers to be a little more consistent. Or you can try reattaching multiple times and see if that works for you. But currently I've got two space between these two vehicles, and here's how it works. So I'm going to use the activate menu just press the A key select my jumper cable and you'll get a message says attach cable to vehicle where I'm gonna pick my source vehicle to the north of me step south of space press activate again and you'll see cable active one more space available I'm gonna select that again now we get another message attach loose end of the cable or detach and re-spool so I'm gonna go ahead and attach the loose end and again ask me where I'm gonna pick this southern vehicle and then we get the message. You link up the electric systems of the car and the car. Now I can move freely after that. The cable's no longer in my hand and spooling out or anything like that. You don't get any kind of visual representation between the vehicles, but they are actually connected. If we take a look at the southern vehicle and to the spot where I actually attached it, right there you can see a new entry. It says jumper cable. And the same is true for the northern vehicle. If I go to the bottom of the vehicle where I attached it, you see a jumper cable. That's also how you remove the cable once you're done. You just come to either vehicle, pick that location where the, vehicle, the jumper cable is attached, and you can use the remove command to disable or disconnect that cable. For now, though, we've got the cable strung between the vehicles, so let's go ahead and go to our northern vehicle. I'm going to tell it to control in the direction of the chair there where the controls are at, and I'm going to say to turn on the engine. It says the car's engine starts up, which is great. We can see the exhaust in the back to show that it's running. And if we take a look, I want you to look at, uh, remember these numbers, 72% here and 61% here. Now I'm going to let some time pass, so we're going to just pick five minutes. And we're going to take a look, 61% still. Absolutely nothing has happened. Why? What's, what's going on? How come it's not working? It's broke. Oh my goodness. Well, what's happening is, in Cataclysm, only one battery can charge at a time, and it must reach full capacity before charge will start to accumulate in the next battery in the list or in sequence. Now essentially these two vehicles have been connected. They're one vehicle, but it has to charge this battery up to 100% before this battery is going to start charging. You can never have two batteries charging simultaneously. It's always done sequentially in order. So even though they're separate vehicles, they're considered one electrical system and it's going to have to charge this battery to 100%, then it will move to the next battery and start charging it. So let's go check our progress. We take a look, we're at 73%. So let's let five minutes pass, take a look again, 75. Let's let 30 minutes pass, take a look, 83. We'll get there pretty quickly, 92. All right, we're at 100%. Let's go check our Southern vehicle now, 61%. Now, when time passes, we're at 62%. 30 minutes this time, we're at 70%, and so on. So this vehicle is maxed out at 100% capacity, so now the southern vehicle's battery is charging up. And we'll just do one more time period here. 30 minutes again, 
78%, you get the idea. The important thing to know is that you have to have your source vehicle maxed out battery before any charge is going to accumulate in the battery that you're trying to uh, connect to. So once you're done, you can go ahead and go to either vehicle and just go to that location where the jumper cable is attached, remove it, and it'll drop to the ground at your feet. Pick it up, take it with you again. And then of course go turn off your other car or do whatever you need to do. So we're 99% there now and we're at 79%, but we have successfully transferred charge to our southern vehicle and you should be able to start it and drive off. That's pretty much it. The only distinction between the two, like I said, the heavy duty one allows you to go much longer length between the vehicles. A lot of people are using the heavy duty cable especially for base building. So if you have an exterior solar array, for example, you can run a heavy duty cable from it through a window and then into your interior vehicle workshop network and that will transfer the power between the two um, or if you have a separate vehicle in the network however you'd like but the heavy duty cable does allow for a much longer connecting uh, line between the vehicles that should be everything you need to know about how to use jumper cables hope you found the information helpful as always let me know what you think down below in the comments or via my discord channel and i'd especially love to hear from you if you have any ideas for future episodes stay safe out there bye bye